I want to give a broad overview of what a .NET assembly is. So what is an assembly? This definition comes from a Microsoft Docs web page. I've included the URL for this web page in the description below. Assemblies are the building blocks of .NET framework applications. They form the fundamental unit of deployment, version control, reuse, activation scoping, and security permissions. An assembly is a collection of types and resources that are built to work together and form a logical unit of functionality. An assembly provides the common language runtime with the information it needs to be aware of type implementations. To the runtime, a type does not exist outside the context of an assembly. A .NET assembly can be an executable file with a .exe file extension or a dynamic link library file with a .dll file extension. Let's take a quick look at the makeup of an assembly. Metadata. Metadata essentially means data about data. This data describes how the elements in the assembly relate to each other. An important feature of an assembly is that it is self-describing. This is achieved through its metadata. Common intermediate language. I think Wikipedia defines this well. The Common Intermediate Language, CIL, formerly called Microsoft Intermediate Language, MSIL, is the lowest level human readable programming language defined by the Common Language Infrastructure Specification and is used by the .NET Framework, .NET Core and Mono. Mono is beyond the scope of this tutorial but is essentially another implementation of the .NET runtime. Resources. Additional resources can be compiled into an assembly. For example, if you wanted to store a JPEG image in an assembly, you are able to include this file as a resource. I also want to give a broad overview of how your .NET code is processed. We have our C-sharp code, or we have our VB.NET code, or another .NET language, could be C++ or F-sharp for example. We then compile our .NET code using an appropriate compiler relative to the .NET language we have used to write our code. It could be the C-sharp compiler, also known as CSC, it could be the VB.NET compiler, also known as VBC, or another compiler appropriate to whichever .NET language we are using. The appropriate compiler then compiles your code into an assembly which contains the common intermediate language code. If the code that has been loaded has not yet been compiled, the common language runtime will employ the just-in-time compiler service to compile the common intermediate language code into machine code that your CPU can understand.